So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Everyone, Kirk here again at Option Alpha, and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today, I want to show you where to get reliable historical market data. And this is going to be for options data and also for general stock or equity data. I think the first thing I'll say with this is the key word here is reliable. There's a lot of data providers out there and a lot of data sources. And one thing that we learned in building our back testing software and our trade optimization software on Option Alpha is that not all data is the same. Even though two people or two different data providers might say that they're providing the same data, we've often found lots of inconsistencies. It's not like millions and millions of inconsistencies, but a lot of inconsistencies among different data providers on end of day versus open of the day versus middle of the day, tick intervals, volatility metrics and volatility numbers, deltas, thetas, and sometimes just flat out missing data or incomplete data. So I think the key here is that if you're going to use data and trying to go through and use data for the purposes of backtesting or building models or algorithms, it's really, really important to go through the data and take some time to really clean or scrub the data as much as possible. And that was something that took a lot more time than we anticipated when we originally built our backtesting software is going through and kind of scrubbing and cleaning that database. That said, I think I'll start with obviously the stock side. On the stock side, there's a lot of different places that you can go to, probably one of the most uh, readily available and for the most part free for most traders is EOD data, uh, which is end of day data for a lot of different underlying securities and exchanges. Probably a really good one to just start out with and get you kind of some of the regular interval stuff on stock data down to end of day and then also intraday in the one minute quotes. So more readily available, like I said, than some of the other places out there. But frankly, you can go anywhere and get historical prices. Yahoo, Google, uh, Nasdaq also has a really cool interface where you just type in a couple symbols separated by commas and you get basically 10 years of historical price and volume for stocks, of which then you can download and kind of export. So There's a lot of different sources, I think, for stock data, and I think it's a lot more readily available and easily available than options data. On the options side, there's a bunch of different sources. Obviously, you can go to the CBOE, go to the NASDAQ. Another great source is iVolatility.com. They have a lot of historical data and also have Canadian and European options data history. There's also other providers like TickData, Quandle, et cetera, that have lots and lots of databases. Again, it just kind of ranges as to how much data they have, how far back it goes, tickers that they offer, and then also the quote levels that they have. So is it just the bid and ask? Is it the last executed price at the end of the day? Do they have the volumes, open interest? Do they account for dividends and splits? I mean, there's a really a lot of things that kind of go into it that you have to be aware of as you start getting into it. The problem with options data, though, is that in most cases, options data is not complete and free right now. So you have a lot of fragmented options data out there, and most of it costs money to to download. In some cases, I'm just like looking right now on one provider, the pricing just for one year of one symbol of options data is $500. So just to get enough data for one year of options, you know, trading history for one particular symbol can be as much as $500. Now, this is why you see that when we built our options backtesting software, it's an incredible value to everyone because it's a couple hundred dollars one time and you basically have access to, you know, decades of options trading data at your fingertips with different strategies and technology to trade different securities. I think we started with 50 tickers and we're going to be adding more tickers here in the future. So you can see we probably put in the, the brunt of the expense for you and kind of building this out and then hopefully are providing enough of a resource for you to see how valuable it is. Because if you try to do this by yourself, just buying one ticker symbol in one year would get you $500 of just raw cost. And you still have nothing to do with that. It can provide real no value to you until you start having the ability to backtest and trade different option strategies. So as always, you can check that out at optionalpha.com slash toolbox and look and see what we have. And if you have any questions on data sets that we've used before or where we've gotten them or any other uh, resources you want to check out or share, or if there's one I didn't see or say here, which I'm sure there is because there's millions out there and you want to share with our community, just let us know. As always, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And until next time, happy trading. 
Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.